I'm Kim Rogers. Welcome to Fit 101, where I'm going to lead you on a journey today using bite-sized fitness information. In eight minutes or less, I'm going to teach you how to create a calorie deficit. You know how frustrating it is when a woman tries to lose weight and she hears online or somebody talking to her, have you tried tracking your calories? Have you tried a calorie deficit? That is the way that you lose weight. In eight minutes or less, I'll dive into actionable tips to help you, our listeners, achieve their wellness and fitness goals. In episode four, you discovered how to calculate your BMR, which is your basal metabolic rate. Your basal metabolic rate is your rate at which your metabolism, which your metabolism converts your food to energy. BMR creates your calorie deficit. When you know what your basal metabolic rate is, a calorie deficit, you'll consume fewer calories than your BMR or your maintenance level. Listen, when you have trouble figuring out, working out every single day, and you're not seeing any changes in your weight, it's because everything is the same. Create a calorie deficit, but first you have to understand what your basal metabolic rate is. How many calories does your body need to keep the lights on, to move around, at rest, before you take in any energy? How do you know you're burning enough calories to lose weight? Now, what's a safe, sustainable calorie deficit? It's recommended to decrease your calories by 250 to 500 calories. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can either decrease your calories by 500 or 250, with your food or with your energy. If you are taking in, if you're taking in more calories than your body needs, then your weight will remain the same. You have to understand that your BMR is your basal metabolic rate, the amount of energy your body is burning at rest. Once you understand that, you can then look at your activity level. Some people's activity level is moderately active. Some is sedentary. Some are lightly active. If you're taking in the same amount of calories and you are lightly active, it could be as simple as you bumping up your activity level to see that scale move, to see those pounds come down. I want you to understand that this is not hard. It's simple math that you can have the direction to go on your journey and not be so frustrated. I'm not saying that it's gonna be easy, but I want you to have an idea of what you are in for. In eight minutes or less, this has been episode number five. Discover the easy way for you to calculate your BMR, take in fewer calories, and to lose weight. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Please leave questions and messages because I love to engage with my community and answer those questions and help you along because I too struggle weighing in at 238 pounds. I've been at this now over 10 years of my life and my purpose and mission is to help you strong, intelligent, capable, skillful middle-aged women to lose weight, tone up, get in shape, and live the best years of your life. Hey, y'all, stay faithful, stay fit, and stay motivated.